Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. Today I'm going to talk about the animation tab. We have completed so far the format and the insert tab and this is the part 3 of my free PowerPoint training program. So let's begin. So in this tutorial I'm going to take you through the complete animations tab. If you can see here we have got 1, 2, 3 and 4 different groups. The first one is the preview group, then the animations group, advanced animation and the timing. So we'll see all of these features in detail. But before we start, let me explain you the importance of animation. Animation plays a very important role in your presentation. Either it can make your presentation better or it can make your presentations worst. So you have to choose your presentation, your animation wisely. Don't go for too much animations. Try to use a minimum animation in your slide that will look a professionalism. Otherwise, your presentation will be a worse presentation if you add too many animations. So let's begin with our the animations tab. By default, if you can see here, the animation tab is all disabled. You cannot select anything. Why? Because you have not selected any object like text or a picture or an object. Then only this will get enabled. For example, if I go to insert and select any shape here, a rectangle. And then if I go to the animations, you can see that the animation tab is enabled. So let's see one by one the what types of animations are available in PowerPoint. These are the few animations which are visible on the ribbon. But when you click the more button here, it will show you more animations are available. The first animation type is entrance. Then the second is emphasis, exit and the last is a motion path. If you want to see the more on entrance, you have to say more entrance effect, then it will give you the all entrance effects animations available in the entrance. Similarly, if you want to see about more on e emphasis, you have to say more emphasis or if you want to show more on exit effects and motion paths, then you can use this particular uh, feature. When you are doing the animation, first of all, you always enable the animation pane by clicking this particular option. Then this particular uh, window on your right screen, it will pop up. And then you can give any animation here. For example, if I want to give an animation of the first one which is appear. You can see here one animation has been added here. I can double click, the, double click this animation and I can go more into details. So if I just double click this, it will open the window and you have got three tabs here. The first is effects, the second is timings and the third one is the text animation. Effect is for example, do you need to add any sound? Generally do not use any sound feature in your presentations and the second one is after animation after animation you what you want to do you want to make it don't dim or you want to hide after animation or hide on mouse click so generally we don't dim uh, the animation after using that one this is very important the timing there is something called the start here the timing you have got three options here on click with previous and after previous on click means whenever you click with the mouse then only the animation will start and with previous means it will start automatically it will start automatically without any clicking and after previous also it will start once the uh, animation which is before this one finishes then it will start automatically so this is very important so let me just show you this one on click and just say OK. And when I click the slideshow, there's nothing here, right? And remember that I have used the animation something called 
on click so when i click this will appear because i have used the appear animation right so here also you can go and you can change this one with previous or after previous so i'll show you these options more in details one by one all right so this is how you have got the appear likewise if you want to say a uh, fly in fly in the moment i say fly in it comes from a bottom and then you can see here there's something called effect option one more option is enabled here how you want this particular animation to appear it is from bottom or from bottom left from left from top so many options are available here for example in my, my requirement is say it should come from top so i'll just say simply top all right so if i go here and i say click it comes from the top side so here whichever option you like you can change select it according to the requirement of your presentations so you can play around with different animations here for example if you want to have a zoom animation zoom it will come from this one either you can say object center or you can say the slide center so it comes from the slide center or if you say object center it comes from the object center here so these are some of the entrance animations which you can use in your presentations and similarly you have got something on exit present uh, animations that means you want to hide this particular object during the presentation right so i'm just going to delete this animation all right and i'm going to select disappear the first one is in the entrance is appear and the second one is disappear so if i select disappear and when i say the slideshow if you see here that particular object is is showing on the slide and when i click it's get disappeared so it is exactly the opposite of entrance the exit is uh, the opposite of entrance so likewise you can have so many options for example if i say zoom it goes in if you see here click it goes zoom in and zoom out likewise you can use so many animations here and the third one is the emphasis for example if you want to spin this particular object so i can say simply spin and it started spinning here and when you double click you have got a different settings here for example how much you amount you want to spin you want to spin full 360 degrees or you want to spin only quarter which is 90 degrees half spin is nothing but a 190 degrees or oh, sorry 180 degrees how you want to do for example i want to have only quarter only which is 90 degrees and then you have got the option you want a clockwise or a counterclockwise for example let me just keep a clockwise and when i play you can see here it is spinning only 90 degrees likewise if i say a counterclockwise it will spin the other side click it will start spinning here so that is how it says the how much you want for example you can select a custom also i want to spin only say 120 degrees and press enter key and say okay so it will spin 120 degrees instead of 90 degrees here likewise you can make the the timings here the timings you want uh, extremely slow very slow slow medium fast or very fast again it depends on the uh, presentation to presentation a slide to slide how you want to do sometimes you have to make the presentation or the animation fast or sometimes you have to make the animation slow for example i want to make it something called a uh, fast and say okay so immediately it's, it's going fast there or if i want more faster I can simply come and select very fast and say it is become very fast 
and if you want faster than this one then you can come and give for example 0 0.1 only and just say okay see it's very fast you saw that one it's very fast so make it i'll make it uh, 0 0.5 very fast and then we have got something called repeat repeat how many times you want this animation to be repeated by default it will be none that means it will repeat the one time which is 120 degrees which i set then if you want you can set two three four ten times or you say until next click that means whenever you click it will start spinning and you click it will stop and then until end of the slide that means it will keep on spinning until the end of the slide for example if i just say okay and say this one and just click you can see it start keeps on spinning this one it will not stop and apart from that one you have got something which is a smooth start and smooth end how you want your animation to start I want something a smooth start and I can say something smooth end so the timing I will remove to make it none repeat make it none and this one also I can make it medium and say okay see it says smooth start and then it becomes faster and then becomes smoother or you can use something called bounce end for example bounce end means once it's end it will bounce see it is something bouncing the bounce effect is there for example if you want to see more you can see that it's bouncing at the end all right so you can use that particular options also in your spinning and then there's something called auto reverse that means auto reverse once it goes it makes the animation and it comes back to its original position i'll just say okay if i play and it comes back to the auto reverse position all right and then there's something called the sound as i said do not use any sound in your animations it looks very awkward or very childish in your uh, presentations and then i'm going to talk about the triggers that i will do it on the later part the next animation i'm going to talk about is the motion path which is very important also in your presentation let me just delete this uh, existing animation select the object again and you can just say simply a motion path or if you want to have more motion paths you can just select whichever you like to use in your presentation all right so just let me just select this one something called line and you can see here this is going down can you see there's an animation there's one line has been added with the green and with the red end so if you want to use this motion path for example i want to move this particular rectangle from this position to say at the bottom of the uh, slide for that i will select the the arrow you can see that one particular arrow is there select this arrow and then move it here all right so that means when i click because its animation is on the click when i click it goes down all the way here as usual you can select very fast medium or how you want all right for example now if i click it goes down to the slide all right now i want this particular object or rectangle to move only when i click the button suppose for example i'll just say here i'm going to add one more small shape and i will say move all right so when i click the move then only this should move for that what i'm going to do now is first of all i'm going to rename these objects for that 
you have to go to the home tab under selection pane select selection pane and then you can see here this rectangle right you can just give a, a name as a box and this is you can give the name as a button or or something like that or you can give so i've got one box and the button now as i said that it should not move when i mouse click it should move only when i click this move button then only it should, it should move for that we have already created the animation remember i said that i'm going to explain about the triggers so this is where i'm going to explain now so triggers i'll say that animate as part of the click sequence or i'll say start effect on click of what click off this move button right so i'll select and i've given the name of this one as a button so i'll just say click on start effect on click off this particular move button and i'll say okay now if you see here if i click the animation is getting over but it's not moving so here i'm just the moment i bring my mouse here on to move you can see that one the hand symbol is coming so when i click then it will move all right so this is how the the trigger works in your presentations so always try to rename the the object names the one which i did using the selection pane all right and here you got some more effect options if you want to make down left right up whatever you can do that one or if you want to reverse the direction you can simply set reverse path direction so instead of coming from the uh, top to bottom it goes from the bottom to top all right so this is how you can uh, reverse the animation in motion path and if you want to add a uh, more animation you can add more animation for one object right for that for example now if i want to add some more animation effect for this rectangle box all right that means if i come and click anything directly it will automatically replace that one but if i want to add more animation for this particular object in that case i have to come and select add animation so it will add animation onto this rectangle for the second time or third time how many you want for example i want this to go down as well as it should spin or it should maybe a uh, color pearls or it should darken or you want to change the color to some different color i can say for example fill color i want to change this color can you see here now when i say box which color fill color if you want you can select any color as you like and this also i'm just making it down as a part of the move button and this should happen i can say with previous means automatically before it start it will change the color or if i say after previous after moving only it will change the color so let's see with previous first now when i click here it's automatically changing the color all right but whereas if i say after previous so the color it won't change unless and until it goes to this particular end the first animation completes then it will show you the second animation effect so let's see here move so it's still blue and when it reaches there then it is changing the color so you understand the difference between on click with previous and after previous and here if you want you can maintain the duration how much duration it should play or how much delay should happen after one animation to the other animation for example i want this to happen only after a delay of say one second right till one second it will not change the color after a second only it will change the color so let's see that one also when i say move you can see here still it has not changed the color and then slowly it changed the color that means it delay is there of one second here so that's how you can 
make use of the this particular timing options so i believe now you got a good understanding of the the animations here maybe we can try some different animations here also first let's delete this one and i'm going to go and say a uh, one particular a uh, circle all right now this particular circle we can give any animation effect for example it should come and one particular arrow should come and hit this what do you say the uh, oval shape i'm going to insert one arrow this arrow i'll just rotate it now i'm just going to place the arrow here and this arrow should come and hit this one and this should go and uh, and this one should go out of the screen so for that which animation should i use i have to use the animation which is the line animation so i'll just say line animation by default it is going down i'm just dragging this and making it here all right so if you see here when i play it goes and hits the you can say stone or whatever and then once this hit this should go out of the slide so for that let me just zoom out and then i'm going to use the same animation effect so instead of using the adding the animation again i can simply select this arrow and i'll say animation painter and click it here so if you can see here it is going till here it's already the animation added so i'll simply make it outside all right and then this should happen when after previous that means it should first the arrow should come and hit the uh, circle and then it should go out of the slide so let's play so click it comes and hit this one and then this goes out of the the slide so this is how you can work with a simple animations as i said that try to use less animations and do not try to use a very for example i have seen here i'm just going to add a text i'll just say welcome all right and then i'll increase the size i'm telling you i'm just going to delete this i have seen the presentations where the people make the the animations which looks funny and looks awkward as well all right so for that i'm going to go to animation and i'll say for example which i saw that one spin all right so when i come here click it will start welcome so this is not the animation this is you are doing injustice to the powerpoint i can say so always try to use a minimum minimum uh, animation effects in your presentation and use it only when it is required just don't use for the sake of doing that one so always try to avoid the animations as much as you can and try to use all these options and there are some very good useful options and there are some not so useful options for your presentations so in my presentations i mostly i used say a wipe effect a fade up here and then here i have used almost the line or you can use a custom path where you can define your own animations and then you can have your something called uh, disappear so i have i generally in you see my presentations i use a uh, less and less animations unless and until it is required and the last uh, options in this one there's something called a preview here if you want to preview without going to the slideshow 
you can simply click here preview or you can click from here also uh, play from all right and the next one is reorder animations if you want to arrange your animation you have got so many animations then you can use uh, animations which one should come first which should, which one should go down you can do the reorder here for example i'm going to add one more animation onto this one and i will just say this one to say a wipe for example so i want for example i sorry for that i have to add an animation and i want animation to be happen or say a fill color a different color right so i've got two animations i want this fill color should come first i can simply select that animation and just say move earlier so this comes on the the top and practice as much as you can and please watch my other youtube channels to get a good understanding on animations how i use them how i present them and don't forget to subscribe my channel powerpoint university almost there are 200 video tutorials for you and with the free slides please use it share it subscribe it thank you very much that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.